Zyklin B was the trade name of a cyanide-based pesticide invented in the early 1920s, and manufactured by German chemical conglomerate IG Farben. Zyklin B consisted of hydrogen cyanide, a stabilizer, a warning adorant, and one of several adsorbents. Zyklin A was a previously produced liquid pesticide, which released hydrogen cyanide in a chemical reaction with water. After the invention of Zyklin B, Zyklin A production ceased. The product is infamous for its use by Nazi Germany to murder an estimated 1.2 million people, including approximately 960,000 Jews, in gas chambers installed in several extermination camps during the Holocaust. One of the co-inventors of Zyklin B, chemist and businessman Bruno Tesch, was executed by the British in 1946 for his role in this operation. Mechanism Hydrogen cyanide is a poisonous gas that interferes with cellular respiration. Cyanide prevents the cell from producing ATP by binding to one of the proteins involved in the electron transport chain. This protein, cytochrome C oxidase, contains several subunits and has ligands containing iron groups. The cyanide component of Zyklin B can bind at one of these iron groups, heme 3 forming a more stabilized compound through metal to ligand pi bonding. As a result of this new iron cyanide complex, the electrons which would situate themselves on the heme 3 group can no longer do so. Instead, because of the new bond formed between the iron and the cyanide, these electrons destabilize the compound. Thus, the heme group no longer accepts them. Consequently, electron transport is halted, and the cell can no longer produce the energy needed to synthesize ATP. History, even before any of the modern methods of mass producing prussic acid were developed, suggestions were made that it could be used systematically to kill humans. A Berlin pharmacist is credited with the proposal to use rags with prussic acid placed on bayonets to combat the advancing Napoleonic army in 1813. During World War I, the French army reportedly a euro according to Fritz Haber, the German chemist who helped develop poisonous gas for German army use a euro used 2,000 tons of prussic acid as a poison gas agent in artillery ammunition. Hydrocyanic acid was widely used for the fumigation of valuable tree crops. It was initially applied to citrus fruit in 1887 in California. Use spread to Spain and other countries using either liquid prussic acid, calcium cyanide, or sodium cyanide preparations. During World War I other HCN-based pest control applications were developed, and soon fumigation of ships, stores, factories, and even residential buildings with hydrocyanic acid gas became a popular method of combating insect and rodent pests in many countries. Thousands of ships, cereal mills, and other food processing factories were fumigated with hydrocyanic acid gas until the mid-1930s in Germany alone. Degussa had a leading role in the German research on pest control with hydrocyanic acid gas from 1916-17 on. Degussa's expertise in handling HCN resulted from its use in the extraction of gold from gold ore. Initially, the so-called pot method was used to generate HCN gas by treating sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide with diluted sulfuric acid in a pot. Like the utilization of highly concentrated liquid prussic acid, the pot method has disadvantages. For example, prussic acid is chemically stable only for a limited period of time. Highly explosive air HCN mixtures form easily when applied. In March 1919, Deutsche Gesellschaft für one quarter Asche currency Dillings Becker currency MPFUN GmbH was founded by a consortium of German chemical companies including Degussa, and initially led by chemistry Nobel laureate Fritz Haber. Haber had World War I experience in the development of poison gas for the German chemical warfare program. At Dejisch, Ferdinand Fleury developed Zyklin A in 1920. Its development was a major advance over previous methods of delivering hydrocyanic acid for pest control because of its improved chemical stability and the presence of a warning adorant. Walter Hurrett, Bruno Tesch and Gerard Peters were all collaborators of Fritz Haber working at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry at Berlin-Dahlem. Out of this group of Haber assistants, 
Walter Howitt was named the official inventor of Zyklon B in a Dadesh patent application from June 20, 1922. The German Patent Office awarded the patent on December 27, 1926. The main invention in Zyklon B consisted of the absorption of liquid hydrocyanic acid into a highly porous adsorbent. Initially, heated diatremite was used as an adsorbent. Later, High porosity gypsum pellets called erco dice as well as discs made from wood fiber were also used. The adsorbed hydrocyanic acid was very safe in handling and storage when placed in inexpensive airtight cans of various sizes. Gerard Peters, manager of Dajish, cites M. Kaiser to the effect that today's zycle and prussic acid is known on all continents as the means of choice. Not only for debugging and delousing, but also, in general, for disinfesting large rooms. From 1929 onwards the United States used Zyklon B to disinfect the freight trains and clothes of Mexican immigrants entering the U.S. Farms Securities Administration photographer Marion Post Walcott recorded the use of cyanide gas and Zyklon B by the Public Health Service at the New Orleans Quarantine Station during the 1930s. In early 1942, Zyklon B had emerged as the preferred extermination tool of the Nazi regime for both the Auschwitz-Birkenau and Modenk extermination camps during the Holocaust. The chemical claimed the lives of roughly 1.2 million people in these camps. Rudolf Haar Paragraph SS, Commandant of Auschwitz, said that the use of Zyklon B came about on the initiative of one of his subordinates, Captain Karl Fritzsch who used the substance to kill some Russian POWs in late August 1941. The experiment was repeated on more Russian POWs, with Har Paragraph SS watching, in September. The emergence of Zyklon B as the preferred chemical was a multi-stranded process. Production and Marketing Dajish played a key role in the development and manufacturing of Zyklon B. Many German companies had stock in Dajish but all eventually sold their shares to the chemical giant Degussa in the early 1920s. Dejish's role at this point was limited to acquiring patents and intellectual property, it did not produce Zyklon B. The manufacture of Zyklon B was handled by Dessau worker Far One Quarter Al Zucker and Shamish Worker, which acquired the stabilizer from IG Farben, the warning agent from Sharing AG and the prussic acid from Dessau Schlumpe and assembled them into the final product. Dessau Schlumpe extracted prussic acid from the waste products at the sugar beet refining process. Apart from Dessau worker, Zyklon B was also produced from 1935 by Kaliwak AG in the Czech town of Kolowen and in France. Upon production, Zyklon B was sold by Dejish to Degussa. To cut costs, Degussa sold the marketing rights of Zyklon B to two intermediaries, the Harat and Linger GmbH and Teschen Stab now of Hamburg. Both suppliers split their territory along the Elbe River, with Heli handling the clients to the west and Tester those to the east. Zyklon B is still in production in the Czech Republic in the factory Drislava Kola NAS in the city of Kola N, under the trade name Uragan D2, and is sold for the purpose of eradicating insects and small animals. The Czech word Uragan means hurricane, or cyclone in English. In addition to the production of Zyklon B without the warning adorant specifically for the purpose of mass killings of humans, it has been suggested that some Zyklon B may have lacked the odorant because of supply shortages. Use as a method of mass murder, used by Nazi Germany. Zyklon B was used during the Holocaust by Nazi Germany to murder prisoners in gas chambers installed in the extermination camps Auschwitz-Birkenau, and Modenk, and Sachsenhausen. Most of the victims were Jews and Poles. The chemicals used had been deliberately manufactured without its warning adorant. On September 3, 1941, about 600 Soviet prisoners of war and 250 sick Polish POWs were gassed to death with Zyklon B in Auschwitz Camp I. This massacre came shortly after the first experiment with gas, in which about 25 Soviet prisoners were gassed to death in the basement of Block 11. The experiments lasted longer than 20 hours. According to Rudolf Haar Paragraph SS, the Commandant of Auschwitz, Bunker 1 held 800 victims, and Bunker 2 held 1,200 victims. Once the gas chambers were full, their doors were closed tightly, 
and solid pellets of zircon B were dropped into the chambers through pipes in the side walls, thus releasing the cyanide gas immediately. Those victims inside the gas chambers usually died within 20 minutes. The speed of the deaths depended on how close the victim was standing to a poison gas vent, according to Har Paragraph SS, who estimated that about one-third of the victims died practically immediately. Johann Kramer, an SS doctor who oversaw the gassings, testified, the shouting and screaming of the victims could be heard through the opening and it was clear that they fought for their lives. If the gas chamber had been crowded, which they typically were, the corpses were found half squatting, their skin discolored pink with red and green spots, with some found foaming at their mouths, or bleeding from their ears. Victor Capesius was one of the Nazi war criminals who worked with Zeichel and B in Auschwitz and Birkenau. He was sentenced to prison in West Germany for his crimes. Legacy After World War II Mass Murders After World War II ended in 1945, the two directors of the Tester Company, Bruno Tesch and Karl Wienbacher, were tried in a British military court, convicted of mass murder, and executed for their part in producing and distributing Zycolin B. The continued use of the trade name Zycolin has prompted angry reactions from Jewish groups. In 2002, both the Siemens and Umbro companies withdrew their attempts to use or trademark the word for their products. Holocaust deniers claim that Zycolin B gas was not used in the gas chambers, relying for evidence on the low levels of residues of Prussian blue in samples of the gas chamber walls and ceilings found by Frederick A. Luchter, which Luchter ascribed to the general delousing of the buildings. Luchter's negative control, a sample of gasket material taken from a different building in the camp, registered as having no such cyanide residue. The manager of the chemical laboratory hired by Luchter stated in an interview in the movie Mr. Death, The Rise and Fall of Frederick A. Luchter, Jr that Luchter's thick samples of brick would have diluted completely the cyanide residue, which formed only a very fine layer on the masonry walls and cannot penetrate deeper. In 1994, the Institute for Forensic Research in Krakow Cube W re-examined this claim on the grounds that formation of Prussian blue by exposure of bricks to cyanide is not a highly probable reaction. Using more sophisticated microdiffusion techniques, they tested 22 samples from the gas chambers, Delousing chambers, and living quarters, finding cyanide residue in both the delousing chambers and the ruins of the gas chambers, but none in the ruins of the living quarters. References, Notes, Sources, Evans, Richard J. The Third Reich at War. New York, Penguin Group. ISBN A 978 0 14 311671-4, Piper, Francisek. Gas Chambers and Crematoria. In Gutman, I. Israel. Berenbaum, Michael. Anatomy of the Auschwitz Death Camp. Bloomington, Indiana, Indiana University Press PPA 157 A Euro 182. ISBN A 0-253-32684 to A. Rummel, Rudolf. Death by Government. New Brunswick, New Jersey, Transaction. ISBN A 978-1-56145-4, Snyder, Timothy. Bloodlands, Europe Between Hitler and Stalin. New York, Basic Books. ISBN A 978-0-465-00239-9, External Links. Chemistry is not the science a euro a critique of the arguments of Holocaust deniers regarding the use of Zyklin B in gas chambers.